Hi friends, welcome to OPA Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about two key concepts related to prompt engineering. One will be system prompt and another will be user prompt. So what is the meaning of system prompt and user prompt? It is very key information to understand when you are writing prompts for the AI, right? Especially when you are working with open AI or any LLM model, it is very important the way you write a prompt and especially the system and user prompts, what is the significance of each of them? So what is the system prompt basically? So think like system prompt is, uh, it says like you are setting a rules uh, or the personality for the AI, okay? So that means you wanted to tell to the AI how to behave and what kind of a tone to use and what kind of a output it should give. What is the output it should give? That will be defined in a user prompt like how the output should be, in which format, in, in which tone it should be, and all these kind of a personality setup of the AI will be done in a system prompt. For example, let's assume I want to get a summary of the sports, uh, maybe a cricket match between two teams. Now, give me the summary of the sport or a cricket match will be the user prompt. And in the system prompt, I will be defining like, maybe give me uh, like headline, uh, and summary, key players, final score in this format. So I am defining a format and also I am telling, uh, give me in a very friendly and concise tone. So all these kind of a behavioral things, tone, format related stuff will be given in a system prompt. Whereas the user prompt, in the user prompt, you will give actual question like what you want or actual task, what you want AI to perform. Right, in this uh, same sports example, so the example will be like summarize the today's IPL match, which is a cricket match between Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians. So basically you are trying to tell to AI what is the exact task to do. So that is the user prompt. And as I said, the system prompt will be setting up a tone. Now, now when you give the output, maybe give in this tone, give in this particular format. So that will be the uh, system prompt. So this is the basic difference. So if you closely observe, system prompt will not change more oftenly because you will set up it like how the tone and format of the output to be one time or maybe few changes in middle middle. Whereas the user prompt may often change because the need or the task what you are going to perform may change eventually regularly. So user prompt will usually undergo uh, changes a lot or, or very frequently. Whereas system prompt will not get changed that frequently. Okay, so let's see this with an example. So let me go to my uh, Azure portal and let me create one uh, Azure OpenAI resource. And then uh, let me try to show you this system prompt and user prompt behaviors. So I'm going to the marketplace in Azure portal. So let me search like OpenAI. So when I search like OpenAI, I should see Azure OpenAI service here. Let me hit that create button to create the Azure OpenAI resource here. So let me give you a name, maybe OpenAI hyphen OFA. That is the name I wanted to give. And I am selecting a pricing tier, standard SO. Let me click next. Under networking, allow all networks, that is fine. I am going with the defaults. And uh, let me create this Azure OpenAI resource now. Because once we have this Azure OpenAI resource, I can use the model, maybe a GPT-4 model from OpenAI family. And I will try to show you by changing this system and user prompts. So let me hit this create button to create the OpenAI resource now. As you can see, resource creation is in progress. It will take couple of minutes to finish it. Amazing. Our resource got created. Let me hit this go to resource to open my OpenAI resource here. Uh, and once you open your OpenAI resource, you will see explore the resource. That means the OpenAI resource in a AI foundry. So let me click that. It will open a new tab. Basically it opens Azure AI foundry in which it will open the chart window where I can play with the prompting. Uh, maybe I can talk with my OpenAI model. So, but before that, the step one will be I need to deploy a model first. So click this create a deployment and uh, this is an OpenAI resource. So I will see the models from OpenAI. I am taking GPT 4.1 and let me hit confirm. So, and it will ask, uh, click this deploy button. So hit that. Uh, and uh, wait for a couple of seconds, it will do the model deployment for you inside your playground. So once you get a model deployment, you can start using this system prompt and user prompts 
and observe the outputs the behavior changes so meanwhile when this deployment is happening i will go to my notepad here i have this this is the prompt actually like i wanted to the task what i wanted to ask to a is summarize today's ipl match between chennai super kings and mumbai indians so let me copy that so i am taking only the task part what i wanted to do i will use this only task without any system prompt this time and let let's observe what output will come later i will change the system prompt and i will show you the difference okay for some reason this model deployment is not happening so let me go to another resource where i have already deployed model you see gpt 4.1 model is deployed here already uh, and let me minimize this menu and if you can observe it here right so let me keep it window this way so that you can see it so i i can i can type my prompts here and start talking with my llm or with my model so i am going to paste this saying summarize today's ipl match between chennai super kings and mumbai indians so whatever i am entering it here this is basically a user prompt and you see this box whatever you enter here this is basically a system prompt so right now in system prompt it says you are an ai assistant that helps people find information so the nothing more about format nothing okay but in a user prompt i am telling what task to perform so summarize the ipl match between chennai super kings and mumbai indians so let me hit enter and see how the output will come from the ai so you can see that foundry is able to invoke the gpt model which i have deployed and uh, oh okay so it is saying it don't have access to the real time so let me use a different one so summarize cricket match between india and australia so let me try this prompt and see how the output is coming and and if you see here right the output is coming in its own format it is saying match summary format and highlights all other details right but it is not in a dedicated format so but if the same prompt uh, if i use it by providing some system prompt it will it will give you in a better way so what i will be doing it here is now i am going to my uh, notepad i am copy pasting this system prompt and let me come back here so if you see this system prompt here we are trying to say that you are a helpful assistant that summarizes sports news in a friendly and concise tone and always include heading summary key players final score so let me save these changes and with these changes right now if i use the same prompt uh, the the way it generate the output will differently change so the changes got saved whenever you change the prompts for example system prompt it will create a new session so now let me use my user prompt here summarize the india and australia cricket match so now it is giving see here headline the same summary then the summary then the key players then the final score you are seeing it so now the output format is a in a defined format and the tone is in a defined way like what you defined right so these kind of a format related things tone related things uh, setting up the personality of your ai has to be happen via system prompt and the main task what you want to achieve getting the summary has to happen in a user prompt so if you include everything in a user prompt you won't see a same output always it will change every time so always have this habit of understanding the difference between user prompt and a system prompt and use the uh, your prompts accordingly in the respective locations so i hope you find this video very helpful thank you for watching this video and again uh, for more such content please subscribe to ofa studies youtube channel thank you once again have a nice day